Hi, welcome to my channel. This channel is about astronomy, about the last picture made by a web space telescope, NASA. So they are saying that they were filming a proto galaxy 650 million years after the Big Bang. And the NASA official channel, this picture posted on April 24, 2023, five hours ago, you see. So when I filmed this, this Pandora cluster, they uh, wrote exactly like I, I, I've read earlier. Yes. Every giant was once a baby. So they imply that these red things are the infant galaxy, that they were baby <laughs> children galaxies. So again, redshift 7.9 uh, or 650 million years after the Big Bang. I put some screen capture for you, okay, uh, the last picture I uh, zoom made by me, but let me tell you about the redshift, since the, it's about the redshift, okay, so it was a guy from 1850, they didn't even have light bulbs, they did not have even lights, they were having candle, candles, and <laughs> like gas lamps, and with oil, okay, so this guy Doppler was the name. He said like this. I'm telling you that this is the true story. He said that he, if you go with a, with a candle from the distance, it will see it red. From this crazy, mad, insane science come the current day dates and distances of the stars. From this crazy, mad and insane dude that did need, didn't have Look, I have here some green, uh, blue, red, and uh, blue light bulbs. Which one is farther? He was crazy, I'm telling you. So they are identified, if you see, they see something red, they are saying red shift. Light does not shift anywhere. Light is trigonometrical. From the Newton times, you see like what it means trigonometry. It means like all the laws in the circle like this. And what it means that the light is trigonometric. You see, if you it may, you, we do only have a circle, so everything can moves in a circle. Light if it moves in the circle or in a sphere because this is the old 3D space, three-dimensional space time. Okay. So light is trigonometrical. I, like it manifests. You see, like if you if you move the angle, you see you produce the colors. In this way, you have three pixels and you vary the angle. You produce all the colors. So which one is farther and which one is closer? Blue, why? <laughs> why? I'm telling you, it was crazy, insane, and mad. He said that if you go with a candle from the distance, will be red. This is the red shift, my friends. And now let me tell you about how they do this. I'm teaching you real science. They take a glass, a prism glass, like a triangle, like a triangle glass from Newton time. And they film the light with a camera, normal camera from the start. Webs have this, it has a normal camera and it puts the lights through a prism, through a triangle made from glass, a triangle made from glass. And this glass having an angle and light being trigonometrical breaks the light in colors. And they, they photograph the stars, but through this, do you, you make a photography, a photograph, but you made it from this glass, triangle glass. And the light will break up through this glass and you obtain these patterns, like Newton knew this, rainbow patterns. Rainbow patterns, 
like in Apocalypse, it says that it is a rainbow around the, they took this on just, okay, the, an Apocalypse in a Revelation book. It says that God is surrounded by the rainbow around his throne. In, so rainbow, it means all the colors. It, 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 that's why the rainbow is formed. It is trigonometrical, you see, and it breaks up all the colors in a rainbow. You see? So so this rainbow is photographed. And what do you observe that if you put it in a straight line, like in a picture, they interpret now that there are some black holes, but the, 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 the insane crazy guys do not know what is black even. That and it, it is proof that is absorption lines. So li listen now, the rainbow is not exactly for each star the same. It is red green with various colors. It is a signature of the stars. Like we have fingerprints. The star has a fingerprint. And this in, in this fingerprint there are holes in spectrum when you photograph them. There are holes. And they, they are lying, they are not towards the blue and red. They are simultaneously towards the blue and the red. And what they did now, knowing that this is absorption lines, this our absorption lines know on the material, you heat up the material and you made the same thing like in the star. You observe these four holes in the spectrum and you, they know that is absorption line and they prove to you that it's so material. And now they, they took this and it breaks it in two, two, two pieces. One from the middle mean the rest shift and another uh, line break in the line mean the absorption line. They, they are crazy, you understand? They are crazy. They equated 7.9 redshift light by not shift anywhere. You have red, you have red. If you move, move a red car a distance, what color does it say? Blue? They are stupid, okay? If a car comes from the star red, it will become red. If it will going to be blue, blue. You cannot change the light as energy in it. So now the, what they are saying, I'm telling you so the Doppler was crazy. He even that did not have like this. Now, let me tell you a serious manner, so they do not have a way to calculate in the distance of the stars. They, they, some, another crazy dude did this, okay, is that it is false. The stars are in one day and the galaxies are stars, small. They are living, they are not gravitational systems, I am telling you. They are not like with suns, these are not suns, nor they are stars. But the stars are like this, not like our sun, okay? So they are not like you say, like suns in planets and many suns with planets move around in the cosmic, in the, in the galactic center, this is a galaxy. Because gravity is not attraction, it is a particular way of, of circular movement of the force that I'm, I've told you in my channel and I told you even against the Big Bang. So what do I say now? Because you see, let's see that these are stars in the galaxy, that they, how they are saying. But the galaxies are stars, putting clouds, and they are in an electromagnetic field. And, and we cannot see the universe, only our galaxy. I will tell you this 300 million, trillion, billion times. We live in a sphere, our galaxy, only by the galaxy are put like this in membrane. And they are stars. They are not like in sci-fi movies. They are like this. They are stars. Imagine this put in a cloud, but they extract light from there. So now what are I saying? How do you equate this 7.9 with 650 million years after the Big Bang? <laughs> if we only can put in a mirror one day with the speed of light.
and you understand so about the red shift and the last picture in this picture you can see only stars and there you imagine many light bulbs submerge under water you have all all have imagination you watch Imagine light bulbs put under the water, submerged under the water, because there are galaxies, a sphere surrounded by clouds. And I'm not having nothing to gain from this. I don't want money. I don't want every. I just find this. And I discovered this, okay? And I want to tell you this for free. For free. You watch my channel, you will see science explaining. They are mistaken. The galaxy are stars putting clouds that is an electromagnetic field from a pole to a pole in our galaxy. So the red shift is a crazy stuff made by Doppler, that crazy Doppler, <laughs> a, a, bulb, a light bulb. They do not know what even light is and the spectrum of light. You cannot change from infrared in red of the sensor of the bank with infrared light. You must emit a frequency. You cannot put a sensor. They do not know it of physics. I cannot explain. NASA no NASA. They are mistaken. We can see only one sphere with the day with the speed of light. And everything what you have seen in this zoom that I made in their picture, they are stars. Believe me or not, I'm telling you the truth. Goodbye, God bless about the last picture, Webb Space Telescope and the crazy, insane, mad, madness, science, the red shift.